fight to privatization of services and cutting of costs is leaving more and more people struggling for stable employment. Workers around the country are facing increasing hardships and rights abuses. We're at the University of KwaZulu-Natal where workers are being exploited, oppressed, overworked and underpaid. Here at Prestige at 1998, I'm earning 1,100. I can't afford to pay rent at home, electricity, and buy grocery for my children. So here at Prestige, they treat us like a like a slave. Chemical, they say they haven't got the chemical, brooms, everything. So now we are sick and tired of this company because they don't think about us. Can, can you tell us a little bit more about the issues and the problems with your boss? The problem about our boss is that if we came late to work, they said you must sign that, that time because they said you must start at half past six. You can't start at half past six because we are staying too far. We are using the public transport. If we came late, they said you must, start, must sign that time that you came in. And then they don't care about us. If you are sick... If you have got a problem at home, your phone, tell them that you have got a problem. They say you must, they sign, they put your, your days off because they don't care about us, about our problems, they don't care about us. So we are sick and tired about, about this company. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, my name is Trevor Nguane. I am a student here at uh, UKZN and uh, I'm part of the Workers Forum. Well, uh, I'm trying to help workers organize themselves. As you know, that uh, they have a problem with low wages, um, bad working conditions. So what I do is I try and get them to have meetings and maybe suggest how best they can fight their fight. The main issue is that uh, these workers, they used to be employed by the university. Now they're outsourced. This means they were handed over to private contract companies. When they were handed over, they lost more than half their wage, including benefits. Also, at the moment, they are, paying a starvation wa they are paid a starvation wage of about 1,200, if they are lucky. The other thing is that their supervisors are very harsh and nasty. They also sometimes have to work without proper equipment because the private contractors are always cutting corners. So that's basically the problem. My name is Zamani Shachua. I live at Kwamashu. So I used to work at a university as a security guard. I was working for Magnum Shield. So since August last year, we, 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 we plan to join a strike against the exploitation that was going on in the campus. You know, as a workers at the UKZN, we are oppressed by, by, by these contract companies. And there's a lot of uh, exploitation going on here. For in, instance, even if you're sick, you have to come to, 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 to work, even if you're not feeling well. Because if you, if, 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 if you're in camp, they're not going to pay you, or sometimes they just uh, suspend you for a month. So once you are at, at home for the, whole, for the whole month, which means at the end of the month, you're not going to get paid. And another thing, they pay, they, they pay the, the workers um, a, a, a small money, but while they, while they are doing a lot of job here. So as a, a, as a university where, where, where workers... That's why we came to the decision that, that no, we must come up together and join in a, 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 a strike and fight against this explo a, exploitation and then oppress that's going on in the campus. Could you briefly introduce yourself? Oh, I, I am Pirani Japa from Chesterville location. Okay, could you tell us uh, very briefly what are your problems at, at work? One... Uh, the most problem that I'm facing right now is being underpaid by the company that I work for. So uh, I was told when I was attended a seminar last year, August 12th, that 
my company got 16,000 per, per person, but uh, to my surprise, the company is, is able to pay me 2,100 per month. So to me, that is, a, that is an unfair labor practice. Okay, could you tell us briefly a little bit about your working hours and the working conditions? In fact, I am working uh, 12 hours uh, per day, and uh, the conditions that I work under are so very, very, very difficult, and it is very, very painful to everyone who's working for contracts here. So we, are, we have been, uh, we have been uh, uh, led by the, these people that are not well trained to supervise the job, so they are ignorant and affected us a lot. Okay, thank you very much. As the struggle of the workers at UKZN still continues, and as struggles around evictions and disconnection of services uh, in the community, uh, so does the struggle for, for shelter and the homelessness as well. The struggle of the poor continues.